Greetings folks, Dama Wish for back and get another video. And if you want to know why I'm laying down, it's because I have like this my back is like seriously killing me right now. I actually messed it up working out yesterday. Oh, I think I pulled something working out yesterday, so I that's that's sort of why I'm laying down right now. So just bear with me with, with this video. Um I promise it won't be that long. But um I'm just gonna talk about something that seems to be huge in the I guess the nerd fandom, the comic book fandom, the comic book fandom or whatever, um, that the fact that, according to yesterday, a variety of report is report, sort of reporting yesterday that Robert Downey Jr. is in, is in heavy negotiations to start, is in final, well, final negotiations to star as, star as Tony Stark slash Iron Man in the um, Marvel Cinematic Universe with the, the Captain America 3 movie. Excuse me, he's already in the MCU, but but this makes me this, and since they saying he's he basically could potentially star well co-star in the Captain America three movie with like whatever whatever they're gonna name Captain America three, which we sh hopefully we probably will get some confirmation about that next year's San Diego Comic Con. So um, but yeah, um, so apparently he's uh, he's in talk well in final negotiations to play Iron Man slash Tony Stark in the um in that movie and it will it will jumpstart the Civil War storyline which is like my favorite like my favorite comic book event ever I like that way more I like it like I like it any more than I like um Infinite Crisis in DC I mean Infinite Crisis was pretty I know a lot of people didn't like Infinite Crisis in DC's um comic book event I think it was pretty much okay but um it was a huge I mean, that, I don't know, a lot of people say um excuse me for getting like all uh, Get my words jumbled up, but um, I, that shows like I'm really excited about this. Um, like I said, Civil War is like my favorite comic book storyline of all time. And like a lot of people, when you like go search biggest comic book, best comic book storylines, best comic book events, Civil War probably will be at the very top of probably at the top of the list. I mean, like most people like top favorite comic book events. I mean, and, it, and that storyline like literally changed the Marvel Cinematic, well, not Cinematic Universe. It probably will change the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe if they do, really do do this. It like literally changed the entire Marvel Universe in comics. I mean, you put we all know we put Captain America versus Iron Man. And, like that was a pro registration act because the whole superhero registration act. That's a like I said, I'm gonna do like a video or, like a, if it, like fully if this this is all speculation. But Variety actually posted it and actually broke it that um they were the ones they were the ones that actually put it out there that DC not DC but Marvel is. It, the, the whole Robert and Jr. being in final negotiations to play Iron Man and um Captain America three, but and that it will jumpstart the Civil War storyline. But one thing I have to do, I, I have to, I have a question about is if they do do this, what would that leave? Um, because Spider Man was like a huge part of the um that storyline, but I have been hearing that Marvel and Sony are actually negotiating to use Spider Man in the MCU, and they will probably have to reboot and um recast spider-man and if they do because though if you keep been keeping up with comic book comic book movies or whatever you would know that sony has been that there's been rumors that sony and marvel and disney or well, disney slash marvel have been negotiating with with um sony to for them to use um spider-man in um the mcu so i mean if they bring spider-man is like one of my favorite super next to batman spider-man is like my favorite superhero so if they were to bring Spider-Man into the MCU, that would be epic. And I'd love to see what Disney and Marvel, Disney and Marvel would put their spin on Spider-Man. But they will have to probably have to recast. I, I wouldn't expect, if they do do, if all this does go go down, if some of this does go down, I would, I, they probably would have to recast. I mean, I, I, don't, I doubt we'll probably see Andrew Garfield as Peter Parker slash Spider-Man. But anyway, like I said, if they really do do this storyline, I, I mean, I know what, I know what I'm going to go, I'm going to be going to be seeing, um, May, well, I think it's May 6th is when it's supposed to come out. Cap 3 is supposed to come out um, of 2016. I mean, I know what I'm going to be going seeing. I mean, I know Batman and Superman comes out. Well, Batman v Superman. Dawn of Justice comes out. I think, doesn't it come out like a couple of weeks earlier? If I'm not mistaken, doesn't it come out like a little... I think they pushed that. I know they pushed the date up, but I don't know what date exactly they pushed it up. But, yeah, I mean, if Marvel really does do this, and I'm going to go see Batman v Superman too, but I'm going to go... I am going to go see that, but, I mean... 2016 that 2016 I mean if God God willing and we all and I see 2016 it can't get here fast enough I mean 
I can say that you guys do not know how much I love that Civil War storyline. I mean, it was very interesting. I mean, I don't think com we have seen anything like it in comics before. I mean, it's like one of the, I think it's one of the best storylines that ever happened in the Marvel, Marvel Universe. I mean, it puts superhero versus, and I'm not a big fan of superheroes fighting superheroes, but I mean, it was a, it was, it was well written. It was an epic storyline. I mean, I loved it. I loved that storyline that um civil war storyline but i'll go in depth about that if you a lot of people that don't know a history of the civil war history of marvel civil war like i said it, and i'm I may also be interesting because they, they 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 should have their their netflix series up and running then most of their next netflix series should be up and running then and most of those characters were heavily involved in civil war like luke cage and daredevil and iron fist and all of them they should most of them should be those those shows will probably most likely be up and running by that time. Will be well up and running by that time. So I think we have a if I'm not mistaken, don't we have a release date for the Daredevil um TV show? I know they were at New York they were at New York Comic Con this week, and I was actually expecting for them to announce who was going to be playing Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and Jessica Jones, and all those characters. But we didn't get them get any announcements for those. But anyway, but yeah, and that's all I got for this video. Let me know how you guys feel about um the marvel cinematic universe doing the civil war storyline let me know leave me in the comment below i'll try to get back at you guys anyway my next, my next video probably will be um it most likely will be power ranger related because y'all know i do power ranger videos on this um episode on this um channel too it probably will be power ranger related but i'll try to get back at you guys in at 12 it, it, that, that should be up by tonight but anyway um this is dumb watch 12 checking out peace god bless and i'm out